Paul, there's something on the back here. A list of parents' guides questions. Oh, yeah. So I thought maybe it would be fun if I asked you these questions, like, you know, we just watched the movie, and uh, uh, you answer. Uh, 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 let's do it. Okay. All right. When someone... Whoa. <laughs> when someone wrongs you, which takes more... Wait, oh, damn it, i got to read this right. When yeah, someone wrongs start you, over. Yeah. You know, mm. Well, that was my fault that time. Yeah. Please okay. start over. <laughs> Paul. Yes. When someone wrongs you, which takes more courage, to fight or to find another way to solve differences? This is a central point in the movie. Mm -hmm. we, we, we see this go down between Scott and Pete. What you learned in Chicago is how to fight. Hey, man, what else is there? Courage. I ain't afraid of nothing. All right. I challenge you to spend the day with me tomorrow. Just like last summer. That's if you've got the guts. And the answer, the, the right answer to that question is finding, not fighting, but what does it say? Yeah, uh, finding another way to solve differences. Finding a way to solve your differences. And that's an important lesson for the kids. Mm -hmm. Paul? Uh. Does doing what's right always bring immediate results we can see? No, uh, this doesn't always happen. <laughs> what is it? Uh, <laughs> There's a scene at, towards the end. What's going on? What happened? It's about Pete. I just got a letter from his aunt today. I just want you to know, son, it doesn't always turn out this way. Well, what happened? I'm really proud of you. You did the right thing. So please tell me what's going on. So anyway, the answer to the question is no, it doesn't always yield results immediately or ever. Sure. But that's not what you need to focus on. You want to focus on making sure that you do the right thing regardless. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't do the right thing, then surely you're not going to get the results that you're looking for. Exactly. Um, Paul, mm -hmm. when we don't like ourselves, how do we usually treat others? Hmm. Like a little bit of guidance on that one, if, if, if I could. You got, you got an answer for well, that one? I think one? like a good example, when Pete obviously had some issues with his self, personal issues. Yeah. I mean, his parents were dead. Right. You know, he felt abandoned. Oh, yeah. Pete's, I, Pete's parents are dead, by the way. Yeah, yeah, we find that out very quickly in a very happy scene. Yeah. Hey, Pete, that's great. You know, if your parents were alive, I think they'd be so proud of you. Oh, by the way, you've got a letter from Scott today. You know, if your parents were still alive, they'd be so happy yeah. or so proud. And he's like, I know, right? Uh. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think that Pete, you know, had some some self-esteem issues, and that's what he was he was projecting on others. And yeah, you know, poorly. he had some tough things happen to yeah, him. Yeah, he did. And when you're a kid and you don't have everything figured out, you know, sometimes you, you the way that you deal with it is not um, you know not not always the best way. Mm -hmm. Uh, Paul, yeah. why did Scott give Pete his bike? I don't know. It looked like a pretty nice bike. I would have probably yeah. <laughs> held on to that one. But he did it because he was trying to... Because Pete had said he was going to steal it. He said, I'm going to take your bike from you. So he just went over there another day and said, take my bike. Yeah, there, there, there's also another scene where Pete robs the grocery <laughs> store. Give me your money, old man. What? Open it up. Come on. And the yeah. and and what's his name Graf, Graf yeah. who's a former buttercreamer himself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As I said, the, the, the gang goes way back. Yeah. He said, "You're not robbing me because I'm just giving you all this money." And he gives him like two hundred seventy-four dollars. Yeah, here's two hundred seventy-four dollars, Pete. Is that enough? <laughs> and, and Pete's, Pete's like flipping out, pissed off because he, he can't like rob this place. But if I give you the money, then you're not robbing me. Now here's uh, two hundred seventy-four dollars. Is that enough? What? You're as crazy as Scott. This whole town is crazy. What's the matter with you people? Don't you got any brains in your head? You don't give somebody the money who's trying to rob you and say, well, now you're not robbing me. Well, then what do we do? You're supposed to try and stop me. No, you're supposed to, you're supposed to stop me from it. You're, what are you doing? You're supposed to stop me. You can't do this. I'm robbing you. Really flips out. Yeah. All right, and finally, Paul. Mm -hmm. What does unconditional love mean? 
Oh, man, wow. Loving someone, even if that person doesn't love you back. And mm -hmm. that's really what the movie comes down to. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna Are you gonna show this person that you care and that you love this person that you care about when he's treating you worse than dog breath and mm -hmm. he's doing things that you know he shouldn't be doing? You still gotta love that guy, you know. Mm -hmm. That's what it, That's what it comes down to at the end of the day. I just wanna know what you really want. I've done everything I know how to show you that I accept you for who you are. You're my friend no matter what you do. You're right about me being selfish, and I've tried to show you that. But uh, there's, there's, you know, a lot of um, inspiring, you know, the, the, some of the things that the kids in this film do. I think this should be required, you know, uh, viewing material in, in school these days. I think the kids could really, uh, really learn how the kids, kind of from our, our day, mm -hmm. did things, you know, back in the... Uh, Late eighties? What do we got? What do we got? Nineties, I think. Nineteen ninety-one. Yeah. Which is basically the late eighties. Sure.